Drone Deploy makes it really easy for you to capture repeatable and reliable, consistent aerial data. For this video, I encourage you to follow along, whether on DroneDeploy.com or on your mobile device for whatever drone you may be using, such as with the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise. I'll walk you through how you can plan and launch your first flight. So let's get started. Now that we've created our project, we're ready to start planning our flight. Drone Deploy ingests a variety of different data types, whether that's captured from a drone, a plane, a 360 camera, or even just your phone. For this video specifically, we'll go over how to capture data using Drone Deploy's flight planning tools. Each of these flight templates can be reused as often as you'd like for easy, repeatable flights and more importantly, consistent and accurate maps. You can also create autonomous flight templates for simple media products like 360 panoramas, videos, or photos. You're also able to launch a manual flight directly from this screen here. Since I'm trying to monitor construction site progress, I wanna create a 3D model and a map of my site. So I'm gonna start by creating a standard map plan. Once you've created this flight template, you'll see a bounding box appear over your site. This box defines the area that you're interested in mapping. To begin, simply identify the area that you want to map for this flight. Don't worry about getting the boundaries perfect, as you can always adjust them later once you're in the field. You'll notice as I'm creating this template, you'll see the green lines update. The green lines actually show you the path that the drone is going to follow if I was going to launch this flight right now. On the left-hand side, you'll see some of the metadata associated with this flight. For example, with this quick flight plan that I've created, we'd be flying for about 53 minutes, covering 68 acres, we'll take about 1,000 images, and we'll need about four batteries. Don't worry, we've still got some updates to make. This is based off of a standard DJI Mavic 2 Pro, which is the most common drone used on Drone Deploy, but when you connect your drone out in the field, these estimates will update based on the drone you're using and the camera that you have available. Next, we can determine if you want to conduct a standard or live flight. The standard flight mode will get you the highest quality map and model of your site, but will require more flight time and upload of your data after that flight. With over 2 million flights completed a year by Drone Deploy, we've embedded our learnings directly into our flight planning interface. When flying a new project, we will automatically set the flight altitude as well as any of the advanced flight settings, such as speed, focus, flight direction, and image overlap settings based on the flight parameters we've seen produce successful results. For most of your flights, leaving the automatic settings as is will yield high quality and high accuracy flights. For more intricate sites, you can also enable Enhanced 3D, as you can see here. This will adjust your camera angle and perform a perpendicular or orbit flight to capture additional oblique imagery so that we can generate a high quality 3D model. The live map option here would allow you to get an instant view of your site. We will stitch a 2D map of your site in real time in addition to capturing the images needed for 3D processing. Within this view here, you also have the ability to check your airspace and lance authorization information within the United States. If you need to get airspace authorization, you'd be able to immediately and easily request lance authorization within Drone Deploy, or you'd be able to go and check your local airspace. What I'm able to see here is that I am in a green zone and no authorization is required to fly in this area. Most excitedly, for those users that are using the new DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise RTK drone, you can leverage Drone Deploy's RTK network that spans the United States, parts of Europe, and parts of Australia, and more countries coming up over the next few months. What this means is that you'll be able to capture high accuracy data without needing to place additional ground control points or taking into account other considerations on your site. For those of you that are interested in getting a high degree of relative accuracy, we recommend using a DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise RTK drone. And that's all there is to it. You're ready to launch your first fully automated flight. Whenever you're ready, connect your drone through the Drone Deploy mobile app or open it up on the uh, smart controller if you're using a DJI smart controller drone and launch this pre-flight checklist in the bottom right. Once your flight is complete, you can start uploading the images over LTE or Wi-Fi directly from your mobile device or controller, or you can navigate to the Upload tab and upload your images for processing. Drone Deploy makes it incredibly easy to process data. 
No need to play around with processing settings, file formats, or anything else. You simply drag and drop all the images that you want to process, your panos, your videos, or any other data, and simply start uploading. You'll receive an email when your model has been processed and ready for you to view. Note that these images do not need to be captured using the Drone Deploy flight app or ground apps. You can upload any images or video you've captured as long as it meets our processing criteria. In the next video, we will go over how to capture your first Drone Deploy ground walk.